This video was recorded live on my Twitch channel. Check out all of my live streams down in the description below. Time for a twin ring mill taggy, the final actual venue in GTPSP. Four different layouts, but we start off with the east course. 2.13 miles, 99.7 feet of elevation difference. Okay, so oh. we're going to have two more dealership cycles all together in this entire game. I'm very curious to see what the final two... Actually... Super Speedway could be one where we just use one different car for every race, but I don't know yet. I'm, I haven't made a decision. Alpine, Mazda, Mitsubishi, and, uh... Huh. Nissan, what's what's available here? We already used all... I, I, I don't mean to sort of, like, interrupt, but I'm looking at the gallery for Game Nest. Oh my oh. god, this thing is... No, in, this interrupt, place bro. is so good. Oh, How is one, it? There's one car on this list that we haven't used. Before you answer that question, I mean, I could use Alpine, but we're gonna use these in GT4. Technically, like we've used everything else here, like RXA, MX5, blah blah blah. Uh, I see a car that I want to use for the full version of Motegi next, but we haven't used an FTO, so let's fit this into the equation here. 1999 Mitsubishi FTO GP version or. Okay, what's the list for Game Nest? I'm very curious now. Spill okay, uh, so it's so it's only I'm only looking at the gallery so far, mm -hmm. but from what I'm seeing, <laughs> they have Wanga Midnight Six R. Oh, oh, I'm going! I'm going! And I'm they have going. arcade, and I'm pretty sure in the right it's Arcade Stage Zero. Hey, um, uh, Ender, go to Vegas. What I want one v one. Oh, what is the? Oh my God! Why is there an SSR? Why is there an SSR? That's a lineup. That sure wow. is the lineup. Wow, that is cursed. I want a one v one, you Ander, like in uh, one gun. I will beat you so much, bro. <laughs> so <laughs> go easy, yep. and, Just mean, go easy. I don't, I don't even have a license for the game, dude. I, I will tell you that right now. I have the uh, what's it called? The um, I know it's for five, but I did have the uh, what's it called? The um, Bandai card that I save cars for. If oh, they, they ever, have, uh, they have the Olympic, the Mario and Sonic Olympic machine there too. Oh, I I like that. That looks. They nice. made it. They, they made an arcade cabinet for that. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. I, it's like a few select modes from the Olympic Games, but it's like. Still, it's pretty interesting. Gravy, Funny for enough. real. This is just best motoring recreated into a Gran Turismo game, pretty much. Funny enough, you mentioned about that, uh, like that Olympic was that Olympic game. I did play it a couple times. It's actually, not. It's pretty fun. I actually oh, did enjoy it. I played it. the original yeah. on the Wii. That game was such a blast, dude. Like, that's oh, an OG. Like, oh, it's good. Oh yeah, dude. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Like, that was actually a lot of fun. I don't know if it holds up to this day, but I remember having a lot of fun with it. Uh, what else do we got here? I think, um, uh, I think Mario and Sonic at the Winter Olympic Games was actually the genuine best out of all of them. At least in my they're opinion. All they're all good. So. Uh, do they still even develop them to this day? Uh, yeah. They do, yeah. The last one, the... 2020. I don't know about 2022, but that's just maybe, I don't know, I probably hadn't seen it yet, or maybe because I didn't pay attention. But, uh. Yeah, it was the the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. Ah, I see. Um, which is, by the way, set in an alternate reality now. Why? <laughs> Pandemic. Yes. I was oh, gonna say that. right. It's I just like F1 2020. Uh, by the way, is there any is there any arcade games in that uh, place, or any uh, other? From the looks of it, they have a Rhythm Haven machine. Oh, that's interesting. Rhythm game. Haven, okay. Yeah. Okay. Do they have any beat 'em ups? Uh. They have Time Crisis. Oh, that's, that's really a good shooter. Up. That's a shooter, but regardless, that's <laughs> Time Crisis. I, I know. <laughs> like. It's time crisis, you guys. It's time crisis. Every arcade has time crisis, though. I mean, but it's it's still a pretty good art franchise stuff for an arcade. Oh yeah, machine. without a doubt, it's it's a blast. I like how the SSR is actually holding up against the Civic and the Integra, despite the fact that those cars should be better in corners than the SSR is. Yeah. 
but fuck it. I remember. I remember that car used to be like a pace car for a couple of like it was a, a couple of NASCAR races or something. I think it was a, a pace, pace car, car in IRL as well, if I'm not mistaken. It's a weird car. I can say that much. It's not. It does suck, but it's a weird car. Well, it was that it weird tried, phase. Go ahead, sorry. It tried hard to be retro, but it. I don't even know. That that's what I was gonna get to. It's that weird phase where like every manufacturer wanted to bring retro back, like SSR. What was that shit called? The the delivery van version. Like the HHR, yeah. whatever it's called. The uh, Prowler. The Thunderbird, oh. like, yeah. And and the most important uh, vehicle of all, the PT Cruiser. Oh, yes. I think that counts, yeah. right? The best car that ever hit the Norse life by some German dude. <laughs> by some random German dude from the internet. Yes. Oh, wait, Crime Fighters? Who are the cops chasing this time? Um, I honestly have never heard of Crime Fighters before. I'll tell you what though, That's I will be interesting. Gravy Live, I will go there and check that uh, arcade out. I just need to know how far it is from the strip, so I'm gonna. It's in Chinatown. It's, yeah, it's a, it's a bit far, but it's not too far. I just need to be careful because I need to, you know, know the Uber or know how to save money regarding that because, you know, it's very expensive. Look, so. just as long as you avoid North Las Vegas, you're good. Yeah, and if even if I had to go to like downtown, I had to use a bus because I don't want to get absolute. Aren't the buses you know, expensive in Vegas? No, it's like one like it's like for twenty four hours you can get like for like twelve bucks or something. I don't know. Oh, it's not bad for twenty four hours. I mean, you do need it because you know people are not going to be walking the strip, you know, and the North Vegas and downtown because people don't want to walk that far, right? So. Well, you, That's why you can't really hmm? walk. Well, you can walk to North Las Vegas technically, but not, not really. It's not really feasible. Even so, I mean, I mean, just walking in Vegas is a big risk unless you just want to. Yeah. What's it called? Just want to take in the sights because you're gonna hurt. You're gonna get hurt real soon. <laughs> I don't know if you're gonna get hurt real soon, but yeah, Vegas is sketch. Hot babes. Oh, you mean the I'm, escorts? I'm, uh, I I remember one time, like I was walk out. Me and my family were walking on the, on the sidewalks of Las Vegas, and I could, I just kept seeing a bunch of like, <laughs> a bunch of porno cards on the yeah, sidewalk. Like, why, why are all these women naked? Yeah, I, yeah, I saw those a lot when I passed by. Like you go, you walk into like a, a strip, right, and then all of a sudden there's yeah. like people that put that would give like give away those cards. Like I just saw them on the floor. I sold my car too. What's with these cards? I will tell you though, if I, ever, if I ever walk, services, I'll, I'll tell you though, if I ever walk around and see what happens, like if I if I see a person that gives it, I'll just take a look and see what they have. I'm kind of curious. I'm dude, I, it's the dude. It's I'm Vegas the map right now. What's up? And for, judging from the ho from where my where we usually stay in terms of hotels, mm -hmm. it's like a nine minute drive from there. From the, the to the hotel from to Game Nest, so it's, it's uh, almost, I, I want to say it's not that far. Uh, what hotel are you using though? Uh, Caesar's Palace. That's the problem because mine's Luxor. So <laughs> Wait, what are like, you saying uh, again? Luxor? Yeah, Luxor, the the pyramid. It's funny because you guys stay on the strip and I don't stay on the strip. I stay in the hotels in North Las Vegas. Oh, so you so you went to downtown basically? No, 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 that's not. No, North Las Vegas is in like off the strip, away from old, old town Vegas, away from all of that. Yeah. Like, like literally, like where the ninety five freeway is, like we're like, like heading towards Las Vegas Motor Speedway, pretty much. Yeah. So I stay in the stations casinos, which like. They're good. Oh. They're good on a budget, and they always give free rooms, and they always give like. Like, you barely play anything, and they, they send you a bunch of free rooms, bro, and it's, like, the best thing ever. So, like, I just stay in the Boulder Station, because that's the nicest of the Stacy Casinos. Because Palace Station I wonder, sucks. Oh, sorry, go ahead. I wonder, I wonder if they're still open, the uh, those kind of casinos, because I know they were closed for, like, a while. When, like, even more than the Strip, because of, you know, the pandemic. 
I don't know why they're more close more than the strip or downtown, but no, it's no, no, no. It like it's not like a literal hotel, like you know, like small hotel made with some slot machines. Like no, they're full on casinos with hotels, just like they are on the strip. But because they're off of the strip, away from like the touristy stuff, they're a lot cheaper. Which is why I stay, like I said, Boulder Station, Palace Station kind of sucks. Like, <laughs> you know, it's funny. I'm basing my rating. Of these hotels and casinos, off one thing. Can you guess what it is? What? Go for it. The buffets. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Understandable. <laughs> By the way, no, no, your criteria is justified. Oh, yeah, dude. I mean, bo go ahead, Miguel. Sorry. By the way, our buffets is meh. The one in Luxor, at least, is not as bad as Circus Circus stuff. So. Oh yeah, Circus Circus buffet is it's booty cheeks, bro. Like it's just like dude. it's garbage, dude. It's fucking dude, trash. And he and here's the thing, I may have gone, I may have gone to that buffet myself, and I felt like I, I dead on the inside. So, yeah. <laughs> like, like Palace Station. Okay, like in terms of the bougie, like not bougie, booty ass casinos, like, like the station <laughs> ones, because bougie means it's like nice and rich and shit. Um, Palace Station oh, okay. fucking sucks because like the buffet is hella small. Boulder Station is actually pretty decently sized, and honestly, even even so, dude. I just go to buffets in Vegas just for breakfast, cause like, why not get like a bunch of waffles and pancakes and eggs and omelets and shit like that for like, I don't know, 12, 15 bucks? Like, wh why not? And besides, they're way more cheaper than the lunch or god forbid dinners, you know? But, in Vegas there's two places you have to go to. Tell me. Okay, we already went to one because in San Diego, Tacos del Gordo, which means the fat man's tacos in English. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, they, they had their own. They like, have them in thing. Vegas, yeah, but they're in North Las Vegas, so that's another thing. Number two, I have to find the exact place again, but there's a sushi spot off the Strip. It's an all-you-can-eat mm -hmm. place, and dude, it—I kid you not—it's the best sushi. Whether it's rolls or even just like sushi, sashimi, best I've ever had, dude. No fucking joke. Like that's a huge statement for me, and I like, to, and I like to eat a lot, dude. I tried a lot of places. Mm -hmm. That place for me is the best sushi spot I've ever been to. By the way, uh, Shikane and everyone else that has gone to Vegas or like have any ideas or like, you know, anything, just tell me and I would make a list so before I go in like a month. So Don't you go often though? Uh, no, but I might consider because I have the rewards card now for MGM. So if I do keep going, like, and all that, I might actually uh, get free comps. Or like free resort fees off, and I think oh, and there goes that. There goes that Chevy. Jeez. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, he's gone. He is. G O N E gone. He's, he actually um, tried to fight cars to make the corner and couldn't handle it. Nope, he <laughs> didn't make the corner. <laughs> um, but um, funny enough, I actually have an app where I play, not gamble, but I you know do like bingo and sauce and all that, and it gives you free rooms. So. Oh, there was I'm an app action. that I was playing. Like it's like a, I remember I was playing like a slot machine app like that every single day, like just killing time at school or something. And like I would just get like those same rewards, like free free buffet at this place or free ten dollar slot voucher for this place. Like cool. Yeah, it's the it's the My Vegas. Uh, what's it? The My, My Vegas, Vegas app. That's the one. Yes. yes. And that's MGM. So. Ooh. That's why I'm gonna be staying in MGM uh, rooms if I ever, even if I have a choice of using the cheap hotels, I think I'll rather go for MGM. Dude, because I, I think that's. I actually need to download that app again. I know I know free rooms might be like subject to blackout dates, but I am going to when we were young, so like I need to I need to start planning my trip for that because me I I I think I said this on stream already. I bought a ticket for my best friend and I made her cry because you know like. We became friends over our bond over my chemical romance, and so I was like, "This is the most fitting graduation gift ever," because I met her at like first week of university. So like, mm -hmm. yeah, I need to actually start planning that trip out properly because I literally, oh fuck me, I forgot to save the replay. It would be funny to have the SSR off in the whatever. Oh well. Anywho, um, so, um, yeah. Like, I need to start planning the trip all together because I have the tickets, but no hotel or anything. I don't know what the hell I'm doing yet. Um, yeah, uh, right now I may have had a free, I think I have a couple of, I have two nights free for Excalibur, and maybe one, uh, wait, in, in the amount that I have for my Vegas, 
it's two nights for Excalibur and one night for Luxure, either or. Yeah. So, so That's it's pretty. pretty it's pretty good considering that the only thing I have to worry about is the uh, the god awful like resort two fees. Back. No, it's the resort fees. Those are the ah. those those are terrible. That's resort why I love fees. you for complaining. Yeah, because here, here's the thing. So you in this you don't have to worry about this during the uh, what's it called the border stations because they're like off strip or anything like that. But in the strip, like say Caesar's properties or MGM properties or all the other properties, they'll give they'll give, they'll give you like a good price, but behind it it's like twenty or thirty more bucks per, per night for resort fees, like for Wi-Fi, for whatever TV or whatever. It's like extra fees that you, you would surprise a person by if they don't know what they're doing. So I found it out, and I'm like, oh god, so that's hey. why people. Are, I think the bowlers, I think the, the station casinos might actually have these type of fees. I think I remember seeing that because the last time I actually went to Vegas and like used any kind of like uh, rewards program stuff was um, NASCAR Camping World Truck Series in 2017. I had a free room for that weekend, so we used that and that came in clutch. But um, huh, literally like now, I, dude, I honestly think about it now. I've never stayed on the strip, maybe except once. The only time was in the Venetian, and that was when my parents got married. Oh, even though their marriage sucks, that's another story for another day. But you know what doesn't suck? Gran Turismo Seven is now one day away. That and also we have the full road course next for Twin Ring Motegi.